Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Color Correction in Final Cut Pro. Today, we're going to take a look at using the color mask in secondary color correction. Using the color mask allows you to select a specific color range, and any color correction applied to your clip will only be applied to that specific color range. If you want to follow along and correct with me, I'll include the link to the clips I used in this tutorial in the video description. Let's take a look at our first clip here and see if we can change the color of the water to a more appealing blue or even a teal color. So let's select our clip, open the effects browser, and add a color correction effect to it. Now in the inspector, on the color correction one line, click the apply mask button and select add color mask. In the viewer, we get an eyedropper that we use to select a specific color range. Click and drag the eyedropper anywhere in the water to select it. When we click, it selects a specific pixel we are over and identifies all the pixels with the same color in the scene by keeping their color and making everything else grayscale. As we drag out, it selects the surrounding pixels and adds those colors to the selection throughout the image. Once we have our color selected, we can feather the softness of our selection by dragging this slider. If you just drag the slider, it's hard to tell what's going on in the image, but if you hold down the command key before dragging the slider, Final Cut Pro will give you a black and white image where the white areas are the ones selected by this color range. As you can see, there are some areas other than water that have the same color and are also selected by this color mask. Keep that in mind as we make our color correction. In the inspector, let's go into the color board of our color correction and select the color tab. Now let's grab the global pack, drag it over into the blue and drag up to add some blue color to our masked area. Notice how only the water changes color. The people in our clip are hardly affected at all. Let's play back our clip and see how it looks. If we pause the clip right about here, you can see that this specific shade did not get selected by the mask. To add another color range to our mask, hold down the shift key. A little plus sign appears next to our dropper, and we can select another color range to add to our mask. That looks much better. Let's go back to the inspector and toggle this correction off and on. By using a color mask, we were able to select a specific color range and only apply our color correction to those specific colors. The color mask can be combined with a shape mask for an even more precise secondary color correction, but that's a topic for one of my future videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back for another Final Cut Pro tutorial.